Hello and welcome back to Russ Plays Games. My name is Russ, and as you can see, we are back playing some Tate Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call. Alrighty, well, we're gonna jump right back in here. Now, last time we unlocked Remza from the characters. So what we might do, I know we don't have a whole lot in there at the moment. I don't want to do that. All right, hang on. Um, okay. So what we might do is, since we've got something here. Alrighty, let's edit the party. We're going to come in here. And what I'm going to do, oh yeah, we already put Rams in there. Okay, so we already have Rams in there. Okay, I forgot to put him in there at the end. So, sometimes I forget. I just, you know, I'm not thinking. Alrighty. So, we're doing Let Me Know the Truth from Final Fantasy 3. We've played this once before. Okay. And so, as I've done before, I'm going to get down over here so that I can actually see what I'm doing. This is one of the Final Fantasies that I've never really played and beaten. I really should sit down and play it and beat it. I have it on the DS. I think I was talking about that last time, about what Final Fantasies I have. Sweet. And we meet Sid. At least one of the Sids. From Final Fantasy. Alrighty, 9,701,986 points. 8 greats, 116 criticals. Not bad. Not bad at all. And... Yeah, yeah. And Rims all into Chakra. Traveled 6,222 meters. Alrighty, we're almost at 3,000 points. Ooh, we got some green shards, which means we get to unlock another character. And a new mode has been unlocked. Alrighty. We can get Squall from 8, Vaughn from 12, Ciaran from Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Lightning number two from Lightning Returns Final Fantasy thirteen, and Tifa number two from Advent Children. Well, let's grab Vaughn from twelve. He's not a bad character. And I think I will be right back. And we will pick up from where we left off. And we're back. So what happened was is, I um, don't know if you could tell, but the little red light down here, this just means that it's, um, the battery's dying, so I had to plug it in so you can kind of see the cord running here. 
And um, so I'm just making sure that I've got enough juice to be able to record the rest of this episode. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're into Final Fantasy V. Oh, the final battle with Earth's Death. Alrighty, let's jump on in here. <laughs> Ramsey doesn't look happy. <laughs> He's like, screw that ex-death guy. I don't like him. <laughs> well, I don't like him either. That is an object art. Or something. Okay. Million three hundred and fourteen thousand twenty four points on a hundred perfect chain. Not bad, not bad at all. Double S rank out of it, we got one good sixteen greats and eighty four criticals. And there's our chain. Let's see who levels up Cecil and Ramza. Okay, we got some tentile greens. Defeated two enemies on that one. Mostly because when you get up into the upper upper songs like that, like you get to like the last boss themes and you get to those kind of things, it's really the the um, difficulty of the monsters goes up. Okay, and so it becomes like a very very uh, hard thing to do. But as you can see, our clearing bonus is we got thirty eight. Our rank bonus was twenty eight. Chain bonus was twenty eight. Tactical bonus was nineteen. All mail bonus was ten, and daily special bonus was sixty one, for a total rhythmia gain of one hundred and eighty four. And we have three thousand one hundred and two rhythmia. We passed three thousand rhythmia. We racked up a new chime in the sound settings. Alrighty, we'll jump back in here and keep on playing some songs. Ooh, we got a seven. And this is the boss battle theme from Final Fantasy VII. Most, um, I think probably most famous for the air buster fight. Oh, look at the warrior of light now. Cecil's kind of sad to be fighting in Final Fantasy VII world. He's like, oh man, I gotta go there. Serious? This is probably the most famous for the Airbuster fight. Even though Airbuster was just kind of a minor boss in the very beginning of the game, um, this was kind of like what most people remember it for.
Reno! That guy was one annoying boss. <laughs> kind of redeemed himself towards the end there, but he was kind of annoying. <laughs> if you watched Advent Children, he was actually kind of a cool character. Although I do like Rude a little bit better than Reno. The way that he would like, um... Smooth his, uh, smooth his suit and check his watch. Just kind of be, eh, like, forget this noise, I'm out. Wish they put that in Advent Children. Go oh, wow, ninety nine million eight hundred thousand five hundred and thirty one. Double S rank. No, nice. triple S rank. Sorry, not double S. Triple S rank. What am I thinking? <laughs> Alrighty, you can see we only missed four criticals, so we missed two on that one, and then we missed um one each on those. And so yeah. We're doing really well. This is really good. Earning experience like mad. For peace, be quick, no sweat. Alrighty. There's those, and we got some new collector cards. So we got a Mog's Amulet, and we got a new collector card, Genova Synthesis. And we got a new card, a Mover. Okay. We passed 3,250 Rhythmia. We unlocked new character art in the select design menu. And what that means is that we can, when we do our profi card, which we might do at the end of this episode, um, we can select new characters and new backgrounds and various things, okay? All right, and so this was, like I said before, this was DLC that I downloaded. That's the opening song, Liberale Fatale. And then Premonition is one of the last battles, and I'm trying to remember... Oh, get back over here, you little piece of junk. Um, ah, I know what this is. Do you know what this is? This is the second area of the game. So this is actually the overworld theme for Final Fantasy VIII Bluefields. This... Is the fire cave where you get Ifrit the first time in the game? Like I said, I just kind of have to turn it so that I get my. so I can keep my stylus right there in the middle. So you can see it's the background of the fire cave. Remember, if you've ever played Final Fantasy VIII, you actually had a time limit. Now 
There we go. 9,830,508. And it's Renoa. Hello, Renoa. And there we go. Three greats, 115 criticals. You can see where we missed. Otherwise, we would have had a perfect chain, all critical. Well, we had a perfect chain anyway. Alrighty, where are we at here? Everybody leveled up. Guide me. No dallying. Milk, please. No sweat. And it looks like um, Cecil gained a new ability. Protect, level 1. The Warrior of Light learned a new ability. Uh, stamina up, level 1, which raises your stamina stat by a certain amount. Ramza has not learned an ability. He will only... You can kind of see that they're learning abilities every five levels. So that means that when Ramza hits level 10, he will gain he will um, gain a new ability. And Zidane gained Steel level 1. And we got a Gishal Greens, and we traveled 6,335 meters. Alrighty. Arrhythmia Breakdown, we got uh, 48 for a Clearing Bonus, 32 for the Rank, 28 for the Chain, 26 for the Tactical, 10 for the All Male, 72 for the Daily Special for a total of 216 Rhythmia gained, and we passed 3,500 Rhythmia, which means we unlocked Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles EMS. We might play one of those songs. I'm going to edit the party because we're going to look at some of these abilities that we've gotten. So, come down here, select abilities. All right. So. Okay. So, Protect. It activates when the HP gauge drops below 80%. It reduces the damage taken by the party until the end of the stage. It's low strength. All right. So, we don't have enough to get that one yet. For the Warrior of Light, he got Stamina up. And that increases his Stamina by 40. So you can see, it's going to increase it up to 93. So we will go ahead and select that and put his Stamina up a little bit. Um, let me see here. Ramza has... Um, he learned Chakra, which is activated when you completed half the song. It restores 12% of your max HP. And uh, you can see that we don't have enough to actually be able to put it in because Weapon Break is 6, and um, Cheer is 8, and Chakra is 9. So we have to gain a little bit more CP before we can put a couple of those in. And for Zidane, he got Steel, which activated with 10% success after defeating an enemy. In the battle music stage, works once per stage and guarantees you get the enemy's item. So that's actually probably pretty good. In fact, I would think that. Hmm. No, I think for right now we're gonna leave Treasure Hunter in. When we gain a few more, um, we'll put in. Cause let me see here. Yeah, with that one we need twenty-eight. So we've got a little bit longer. So, yeah. Can't quite yet. So there you go. That's what those are. Oh, and then I'll show you the Collect Card Crystarium. So what we do is, basically how this works, is um, you come in here and you boost parameters, okay? So you can use your Collect Cards on party members to boost their parameters. Which parameters improve depends on the Collect Card. And I'll let you kind of, um, you know, do this. So the rarer it is, the higher, the higher the bonus. But it's also based upon chance. Okay. Plus, when you get a set, you get bonuses to your success rate and your critical success rate. Okay. So, like for instance, we'll look at Galif here. Galif gives us strength plus one. Okay, and it has a success base success rate of seventy percent. And a critical rate, that means it would give us strength plus 2, is 35%. So that means that 35% of the time, you will get the bonus. 70% of the time, you'll get the strength. Now, if we look at a, um, a rarer character, like, say, for instance, Ace. 
he's got two abilities that he can give you. Magic plus one and spirit plus one. Now the success rate is 30% and the critical rate is 40%. That means you're more likely to get a critical, but you're also more likely to fail getting the, the two bonuses, the magic plus one and the spirit plus one. Um, see like here, see like lightning number two is strength plus one and it's at 80% success rate and it's critical rate, okay? And so basically, if we switch, we can also switch the rarities. So we can look at, so like, here's our rare card with Lena, right? And I don't think we have, yeah, okay, so we do have two Ps. We have Hope and we have Reno, okay? But with these rarities, see, like, for instance, this particular Hope gives us Magic plus 2, Spirit plus 3, and it has 100% critical success rate and only a 6% critical rate, which means we're only probably likely to get the, mer the Magic plus 2 and the Spirit plus 3. And Reno, he's got luck plus five. So the rarer the card, the higher the bonus, okay? And you can see the success rates, but that's because Reno and Hope are not main characters in the sense that they're not, um, they're not like your main, main characters. You know what I'm saying? They're not a Ramza. They're not an Ace. They're not Lightning. They're not, you know, Cloud, Tifa. You know, those people are the ones that have the rarest ones, okay? Like, Genova Synthesis over here has Spirit plus one, but Adia has Magic plus two, and she has a success rate of 30 and a critical rate of 40. So you can kind of see, like, Ozma, okay? Ozma has an experience of 75, a CP of one for a 55% success rate. So in actuality, what's really cool is you can also use, and I don't have any right at the moment, but um, you can also use summons, and they will boost your success and your critical success rates for these. So we're not going to use any of these right now. We probably will once we get the characters all to level 99. When that happens, you come into set abilities, okay? And down here in the corner where it says exit under CPUs, there will be a little thing right here that says reset level. And then it'll have a little star, and you hit reset level. And it resets them to level 1. It boosts all of their base stats, okay? And you have to level them back up. It will reset their CP count. But when you, when you go back through, your stats will actually boost faster. So you'll actually get better stats the more stars you have. Plus, if you use the Collector Card Crystarium, you can actually build your characters, and you can actually make them how you want them to be, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to come back here. We're going to select another song. Alrighty, let me see here. What have we got? Final Fantasy X-2. Ah, so this is... So this is the EMS that, that, that they were talking about. So this is the Thousand Words. This is one of the songs that plays towards the end of the game, I believe. It's not the opening theme, but you can hear that it's in Japanese. Okay? And so let me, let me show you this. Um, over here in um, Final Fantasy VIII... Okay, so it doesn't have eyes on. I thought it had eyes on me. Um, but if we look at Melodies of Life, it's in Japanese. It's not the English version that we got over here in America or in North America or in Europe when this game came out on the PlayStation. Okay? It's, it's actually in Japanese, which to me was kind of funky. It was like, wait a minute. You have this game. I understand that that Sutaki Dane is in Japanese. The, the the song is actually in Japanese. They never translated it from Japanese over to English. So, like, if you play Final Fantasy X in North America in Europe, it's actually in Japanese. But if you play Final Fantasy IX, Melodies of Life is in English. So it, it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I just thought I'd share that. Um, okay, so this is, I believe it's the opening battle 
to 10 2. I don't believe it's the I don't believe it's the normal battle theme music. I think it's just the opening battle. It's just how they it, it's just it's kind of like that that opening sequence after after they get done, you know, when they go why RP in position, you know, and then and then you see her, you know, dancing and doing all of that stuff. I don't know. I haven't really played 10-2 all that much. Because, honestly, it's Final Montana, the... <laughs> it's Final Montana, the sequel. <laughs> I, I think they were trying to appeal to younger audiences, like younger girl audiences with it, by having it resemble kind of a, like, Hannah Montana style... You know, and then it had the dress spheres, and actually the dress sphere system, once you got used to it, it was actually a really neat little system. I actually really liked it. Because it allowed you to become different, you know, like classes and stuff, a la Final Fantasy Tactics or Final Fantasy V. Um, and so, yeah, you got to, uh, you know, you got to select some different things. But see, because the background is the the stage from the opening th the opening sequence, I believe this was the battle that you played. I believe this is the battle that you played. So this is going to be a single S rank. It's nine million one hundred twelve thousand eight hundred twenty seven on ninety perfect chain. Now it's a double S rank. Crazy. So now, <clears throat> whenever you played, okay. So this was what we just did in in the critical map okay the current critical the total critical down here takes some of the ones that you've done here and adds it to this to your previous total because it says times played right so it adds to the total okay and that's how it does it but yeah i believe this is um I believe that was the battle that was kind of in the beginning of the thing. And we got a collect a card, rare Noel. And I'm not sure which one Noel is from. I know a lot of the Final Fantasies, but there's some of them that I just don't know. I'm just not that knowledgeable about them sometimes. Alrighty, well, let me see here. Is there a Noel? Nope, there is not. Okay. So, I think what we're going to do here... Aha! We can challenge the AI in versus mode. Kablam! Okay. So, we're going to jump in here to the street pass. Because we're going to select our profi card. Alrighty. I mentioned this in the last one, but we're actually going to start this. So, basically how this works... Okay, is you can attach a chaos map. Okay? So, for instance, we can look at this and we can say, okay, well, the only one that we've completed so far is this um, Hilly Start and a Guardian Spirit. So, we select it, okay? And now it's attached to our profi card. This is actually our profi card here, okay? And <clears throat> so, you can see up here, it says Newly Final Freelancer. Okay, if we click Byline we get a bunch of descriptions, okay? And so we can choose, and you can see that it's changing up here. We can choose what we want. So you can see that we have a bunch, and there is a ton of these. In fact, I'm still getting them on my... Um, on my other profile, I'm still getting brand new. I'm, I'm up to like a hundred and some odd in each one. There's a thousand, there's a million of them. Okay? There is so many. Okay? 
Alas, a, let me see here. I'm gonna say, alas, a little known paladin. And you can randomly spin it too. And then it will just, you know, do things. And then when you select design, okay, you can select a new character. I always like him. Sometimes I will select, if I have him, saying like, here's one Machina from Type-0, here's Ramza, here's Benjamin. I like to use Benjamin. And then it shows the background. So as you can watch the, watch the background behind the characters, okay, as we change, you can change the color, but you can also change the background. Okay, I like something a little lighter like that, and then I usually choose like a purplish color because it goes with Benjamin's armor. And then we get to edit our message. Okay. We're kind of limited on what, on the amount of space that we can use. So we will just say watch. <laughs> Watch Russ plays games on YouTube. Okay. And then this is letting us know, and this is on every single profi card that you get, okay? So this lets us know the top songs played, okay? And then top songs used in battle. This is if we battle someone, okay? And then if we click over here, it shows our characters used. So we've used Cecil and Zidane 20, 21 times each. Use the Warrior of Light and Terra 14 times each, and Rams and the Onion Knight 7, and then parameter boosts performed. That's if you, um, and it shows your current party. And and that's, this one is if you've used the Collect a Card Crystarium at all. It shows that, okay? And that's what that means. And then this is the music stages, number of cleared songs. We've cleared 21 songs. We've perfect chained 16 of those. We've played 19 out of 223 songs on the basic. This is the expert, and this is the ultimate. And then we have quest medleys. We've cleared one quest medley. We've collected 11 of 162 normal cards. We've collected two of the rare, and we've collected two of the premium. And then this is our versus mode, okay? And I'll show you what the versus mode looks like. In fact, we'll use our... Um... Yeah, sure, why not? Alrighty. So now, if we go into the versus mode, okay, it, we um, play against others in battle, okay? Um, use EX bursts. So, unlike normal battle sequences where we just have, we'll still have a monster over here, we'll still have our party right here, okay, and the song will still come across, but as it comes across, you'll notice on this right here, there's two different things, and it'll become apparent when we get in there. There's two different life bars. There's our life bar, and then there's the other person's life bar. And basically what we have to do is, we either have to bring them all the way down to zero, or we bring, um, or they bring us all the way down to zero. And we hit these EX burst modes where we build up a certain, when we hit criticals, when we hit criticals, when we get certain things, um, we build up our EX gauge and then we trigger it and it comes and it hits us and it hits the opponent as well, okay? So it says, um, you know, until you can use an EX burst, there are nine EX bursts and one will be triggered at random. And the EX burst will actually be shown right down here um, and... You can do that. And you can also turn on Mog's commentary. And Mog's just a female voice that kind of appears in the back. But we'll run down here to AI Battle. Okay. And it says, win through number one in each ranking. So you select a class of foes to challenge and aim for the number one spot in that class. Um, this, is, this has got 15 things on it. So I'm going to let you pause and read each one. Okay. So I'll stay on it for a second. And I'll let you do that. You get collector cards depending on who you beat. And once you clear, um, 
you know, you'll be able to get more, um, the higher ranking you get, so we start at bronze, the higher ranking we get, we actually um, get different things. And these are the different um, EX burst effects. So there's the zooming triggers, which they they zoom, they, they, um, they're shrunken and they get larger as they cross the lane. There's super speed, which it just, they just fly across the screen. There's random speed, which means they just move at random speeds. There's HP swap, which means you take the current HP of your character and the current HP of their character and they swap. That can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. They have mystery triggers, which you won't know what kind of trigger it is until it's about right before your mark. So like right where you see this one, that's about how much time you have to be able to see it. Okay, there's wave speed, which it actually it actually goes like this, like it like like the thing kind of goes like this across. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> um, and then there's chain attack, um, which it deals damage to your opponent when you trigger you know when you trigger the ex burst. Um, and then there's the monster buff. So the bigger an en enemy you face, um, and you take more damage from bad and miss hits. The slide triggers will spin in circles as they come down the lane. Um, there's Judgment, anything but a critical becomes a bad. There's um, not only that, but a bad or a miss will take a bite out of your total points. And so you can see this little versus down here. Depending on who's winning, that will be either all the way over here or all the way over here. It might be somewhere in between. It's just kind of showing who's winning, and it's based on your total score. Okay? So we will jump in and do one song in the bronze class. So what we are going to do is we're going to take on um, this is Cipher, and then we've got a couple of we got a few people in there, and this is Y R P Fight Number One from Final Fantasy X Two. We just can't get away from this song, can we? <laughs> we're just gonna keep on playing that song. All right, a group with goals, rival party. YRP fight number one from Final Fantasy X to basic score. This is not going to be anywhere near what we've normally gotten because I'm going to be getting bads and misses. You know I'm going to be getting bads and misses on this one. And our EX burst usually goes off about the same time. So this is the wave speed. And you will still get things based on your um, on your stuff. So that was the random speed that I gave to him. So he gave me monster buff, and that made the monster even bigger. But you can see we are totally winning right now. Oops. But that was our first miss in the whole thing, which is rare for me. Usually when I get those, I'm... Okay. And with these triggers, you have to be perfectly in the center of them or you get bads. And you can see that monster taking chunks out of me. But that was it. That was the actual... That was the battle. So, there you go. And as you can see, we totally owned him by 5,919,937. We got 7,042,430 to their 1,122,493. The bronze starts out very, very easy, and, and you start out with the basic scores, and then as you go, you get more and more and more. So, you know, it, it just keeps on going, okay? And so they had to use one revival, and they had four EX bursts. We had four EX bursts. We got a single S rank on 76 criticals, um, six greats, one good, eight bads. Mostly those bads came from when we had all of those skulls. <laughs> 
<laughs> Chicken wuss. <laughs> Seifer. More war. Um, and then they had the best, and the best chain we had was 58. The best chain they had was 9. They had 21 criticals, 27 greats, 5 goods, 23 bads, and 15 misses. And that's why they did so bad, is because I kind of know the songs, and I kind of know a lot about the battle mode and all that kind of stuff. And, and in... And in the bronze, they don't get challenging until probably silver or gold. The bronze never really get that challenging, okay? So now, I go up a rank to 16. So there's 16 bronze opponents till you get to number one, okay? So this was the first one, and so he goes down one, I go up one. So if I had played the first guy, I think he was like 14, I would have gone up to 14 and would have bumped everybody down by one, okay? So we received two collector cards. We got Vaughn and a Behemoth. And Cecil leveled up and Remza leveled up. We defeated two enemies. We don't get any, um, you don't get any normal chests or anything like that, but you still get Rhythmia. And we got new options in the change byline menu. <laughs> and we defeated an AI in versus mode. We got a new trophy and a new mode has been locked. And basically all that all that means is that um, we have unlocked online battles through we can battle through battle music scores with friends and others worldwide. And we can now play local battles. That is if we had people to play online. <laughs> So, I think we are going to call that. I'm Bosh. Uh, no, Vaughn. Um, you, you did that in Bujerba to, um, gain Markiandor's, uh, attention there, dude. I can't remember a thing. Oh, sorry, Tara. Yeah, they like to talk. Um, what, what Vaughn is, what Vaughn is referring to here with his I'm Bosh... Um, he's referring to, if you've played Final Fantasy XII, there's a part in Bujerba where um, you you go to um, you go to the mines, the Lusu mines. Nothing to it. You go to the Lusu mines, and he basically um, kind of like, um, you have to run back out, you find Pinello, you run back out away from the Bonga guys. And then, um, when you get back out there, you need to get, um, Marky Ondor's attention, and he, and, and so he runs around saying he's Captain Bosch. And so that's why he's saying, I'm Bosch. It's like, no, you're not, Vaughn. <laughs> you just said that in Bujerba. <laughs> so, um, this has been, uh, Russ for Russ Plays Games. Um, this has been... Let's play Tate Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call. And join us next time. We might do um, another uh, quest medley. And we will definitely play some more songs and unlock some more characters, hopefully. So, thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next one.